Hi, I'm Luke Raymond from Anaxis Security Systems. Today we're going to look at the new Ajax cameras, how to enroll them into the NVR, and I'm going to show you just how easy this truly is. Let me show you. To start with, we need to look at the architecture. Here we have an Inaxis switch. Yes, Inaxis, we are a full basket security manufacturer. We make switches. This particular switch is a power over Ethernet switch, which means it can power devices which are PoE enabled. We also have a hub. Now this switch is plugged into the internet. So there's a Cat5 cable going from this switch to the internet. There is also a Cat5 cable going from my Ajax hub into this same switch. Therefore, it's connected from the Ajax hub to the switch to the internet. We can tell it's online because we've got a green light here. We've already plugged in this uh, Ajax uh, NVR to the same switch as the Ajax hub, which is also plugged into the internet. We've already pre-installed the hard drive. So now, as you can see, I take off the back of it. It's plugged into the internet, got a hard drive, already installed it. And we know it's plugged into the network because we got the green light on it. So what I'm gonna do is, in my app, I'm now gonna go to the demo hub, which I've got a nice picture of Oleg there. I'm gonna add a device and it's going to be the NVR. So I scan the QR code, I name it Oleg's Oleg NVR, add the device. And because it's already plugged into the, net, the network, when I add the device, it automatically shows up as okay. So now I know that the NVR is learned in, which means I'm ready to start learning in cameras. Now, Ajax was very, very smart. They started with the NVR. Now these NVRs can take, yes, any of the Ajax cameras, but they're also agnostic. So I can take any OnVIF camera or any RTSP camera which real-time streaming protocol, pretty much every camera has that and has for quite some time now. But in the case of Ajax and, uh, cameras, they wanted to make it easy. Now, this spe specific camera is a uh, turret-style little ball camera, really, really easy to install, comes with its own bracket, and it's actually 4K, so over 8 megapixels of quality of image. Really, really, really nice product. Now, in my app, currently, even though I've learned in the NBR, there are no cameras. Now. This camera is a PoE camera, so it's physically connected via the Cat5 cable to the same switch as the NVR in the hub. But because I haven't learned it in, on my app it currently says zero cameras. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to learn this in. Once it's powered via the switch, it's plugged into the same network, I click add device just like I would any other device. I scan the little QR code that's on the base. I give it a name, Oleg's Cam. I push add device, and then automatically it shows up in my app. The image is there. I simply hit confirm. I then say connect this camera to an NVR. Of course I do, I wanna connect it to Oleg's NVR. It starts the connection, boom, and it's done. That easy. So the moment I've actually learned it in, I learned it in through the QR code just like I would any other device. It then asks me if I wanna connect it to the NVR which is already on the same network and the same hub. I just simply say yes, and it's done. Once that is done, via the app, I can now log in and I can see real time that this camera is looking at Oleg, is looking at me, ha ha. I can see it live. I can then go into the programming of it once it starts recording. Now, once it starts recording, in the programming, I'm gonna have a calendar, calendar at the bottom. Currently, there is no recording because it just was added, but eventually I will get a timeline of this. I'll also be able to have multiple cameras. Right here in the middle, there's a little icon for multiple cameras. I can do programming by clicking on the upper right hand uh, corner, there's a, a gear I item. I click on the gear, go into programming. In this, I can see everything having to do with the camera. I can update its firmware. I can click on service, go in and update the firmware if I need so to, change the um, location that it is. If ever it's, 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 for example, changing from one time zone to the other. I can go in and say, well, what kind of detection am I doing? In the detection, I can say, is it analyzing an image by pixel position? I do want to change the motion detection settings. I can if I want. I can choose specific locations in the image that I want it to be detecting and not others. I can say, is it going to detect objects? Does it have human detection? Does it have pet detection? What kind of things do I want triggering alarms and triggering videos? This is where I choose it. Everything can be done directly via the camera, and it is simply put that easy to learn in. So in my app, all I did was scan the QR code, it sees the NVR, which is already on the same network, I assign it to the NVR, it automatically records at its maximum resolution, 
it's really all that simple. This is probably the easiest camera I have ever seen to program, and learning it into the NVR is truly, I mean, nothing even comes close. This is a huge addition to the Ajax family, and probably my favorite addition in quite some time now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We here at Inaxis are a full basket uh, distributor and manufacturer. We have tons of these Ajax uh, turrets in stock. We can get any of the NVRs, and we can help you to learn more about these products. Leave your comments in the section below, and we're happy to reach out to you. Cheers. Thank you.